Hello and welcome. Try this problem out on your own, and then when you're ready, press play, and we'll try it together. All right, so let's read this problem. It's like we're reading an essay here. Oh, boy. The cost of a pack of chewing gum is 75 cents. The cost of juice is $1.25. All right, so I'm going to slow myself down. I tend to rush. I'm going to write this down. So we've got gum, and the gum is 75 cents. Okay. Juice is $1.25. I often write these things out because I have a hard time paying attention to questions when there's this much reading involved. Julia has $22. Okay, so she, so Julia, I write these things down, has $22. And she can spend them on chewing gum and juice for her team, and she must buy seven packs of chewing gum. If B represents the number of bottles of juice, so, so I'll put a B here. Um, which inequality represents the maximum number of bottles you can buy? Okay, so she's got $22. So the amount of gum is 75 cents per pack of gum, and she has to buy seven, I think it says. Yes. Then when we add some amount of bottles of juice that each costs $1.25 times B, that total amount has to be less than or equal to 22. All right, let me just show you what I mean. Let's, let's say she buys two, bo two bottles of juice, so B is two. Right, can she buy two bottles of juice? Well, this inequality will help us. So we take 0 0.75 times 7. That's the number, of, that's the cost of the packs of gum. So here I just enter in 0.75 times 7, which I guess I don't need a calculator for, but it's 5.25. So $5.25 on gum plus $1.25 times B, right, or 2, which is 2.50. And she's totally in the clear, right? Because this amount of that she spent is definitely less than twenty-two dollars, right? It is seven dollars and seventy-five cents. It's less than twenty-two. She's okay. And if you want to find the maximum number of bottles of juice, you can just isolate B here. That would look something like this: a dollar twenty-five times B is less than or equal to twenty-two minus five twenty-five, right? I subtracted this term from the left side. Then I divide everything by $1.25, and what do we get? Well, here, oops, clear that out of the way, 22 divided by $1.25 is, sorry, what am I doing? 22 minus 5.25 first, simplify. So that's 16.75, right? Dollar, so then we divide 16.75 by $1.25. Yes, 13.4. She can, she can buy less, right? B has to be less than or equal to 13.4. So in other words, the most amount of bottles she can buy of juice is 13. But they, they didn't go there in that question. They just want to know which of these models the situation. And I'm going to pick choice four. Thanks.